Hi, it's time for some vocabulary. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the first three words of the week. Later, I'm gonna post a poem where you're gonna find these words. Um, so the first word today is thoughtless. And to be thoughtless means without thought or feelings um, or feelings of others' needs. So when someone is thoughtless, they are not being very kind because they aren't considering the needs of others. Okay, the next word is thoughtful. And to be thoughtful means to be full of thought. It's an antonym for thoughtless, like the opposite, right? So when you are thoughtful, you are thinking about the needs of others. And our third word is dessert, but not like dessert, like mm, strawberry shortcake, no. This word, dessert, means to abandon someone or something that should not be left behind. So if you desert someone, it means you leave them behind, you abandon them. Um, and a deserter is a person who abandons somebody. So don't be a deserter. Okay, so I'm gonna tell a little story and um, the prompts you're gonna find are funny because they talk about a person named Tulip. Now, normally in school, I change the name so it's somebody in our class because um, that's way more fun than the made up name Tulip. But since the prompts say Tulip, then I will use Tulip's name so you can practice. Okay, so I want you to think about a fifth grade friend named Tulip. And Tulip is out and about in the neighborhood and Tulip, she is walking through the neighbor's yard and she crushes all of the beautiful flowers as she walks through. Oh, Tulip, what were you thinking? Okay, now I want you to think about something that Tulip might say. After she walks through the neighbor's yard and crushes the flowers, she could either be thoughtless and say something, meaning not very kind, not thinking of the neighbor's feelings, or she could be thoughtful and say something different, meaning she would start to think about that neighbor and the neighbor's feelings. So what would Tulip say? If Tulip was going to be thoughtless, Tulip might say, who cares? I don't care about flowers, right? Um, if Tulip was going to be thoughtful, she might say, oh no, I accidentally smushed all of the flowers. Maybe I should help my neighbor plant some more. So when you practice, you can try some things that Tulip might say. You can also think about another scenario. Um, what if Tulip was meeting her friend and they were gonna go shopping and Tulip's friend was wearing a really peculiar or strange outfit? If that were the case, Tulip could either be thoughtless and say something or she could be thoughtful. So you can practice. If Tulip were thoughtless, she might say, what would she say about her friend's outfit? If Tulip was thoughtful, what might she say? Maybe if she's thoughtful and she thought her friend's outfit was peculiar, she might say, oh, how unique. <laughs> we practice saying that in my class, right? When something's different. Um, okay. Lastly, we're going to think about if Tulip is a deserter meaning she's abandoned somebody. So here's a little story about Tulip. Um, it's the first day of school and Tulip is walking with her brother who is in kindergarten. And she walks her brother to the kindergarten room for the first day and she hugs him and says, I hope you have a great day and I will pick you up as soon as school is out at two o'clock. Did she desert her brother? Why or why not? You can say, I think she deserted her brother because, or no, she did not desert her brother because. Okay, one more Tulip story for you to practice with these words. So, Tulip is with her friend in the movie. Maybe it's the friend wearing the peculiar outfit. And Tulip gets up in the middle of the movie and leaves. Oh, Tulip, did she desert her friend? Why or why not? You can say, I think Tulip 
deserted her friend because, or no, Tulip did not desert her friend because. Okay, have some fun practicing with those words. Um, say them out loud, write them down, whisper them to different places in the room because the more you say the word, um, you gotta say it at least like seven times for it to like stick in your brain and become part of your vocabulary in reading and writing. Okay, have a great day, bye.